Greetings, Thompson School District. My name is Mark Schaefer. I'm your proud superintendent. And today we want to uh, bring you a presentation that we're calling Ask TSD. Um, several days ago, we reached out to our community and we said, do you have any questions for us around instruction, around facilities, operations? And uh, you came back with uh, a number of questions and we are delighted and proud to answer them for you. So today, members of my team will take the time to answer these questions for you. I do want to uh, say that we are in unprecedented times right now and uh, teaching and learning all look different. Our way of doing business looks different. As a district, we are committed. We are absolutely committed to meeting the needs of, of our students and our parents and community. Uh, but again, we ask, uh, that we want you to know that uh, things will look very, very different. So um, we know you have lots of questions. And so today we wanna go ahead and, and bring the, uh, some of those answers on to you. So without further ado, here we go. Hi, my name is Don Huckabee. I'm the Chief Academic Officer for Thompson School District. One question that we received um, a number of times, it was around our school year extension. Colorado Department of Ed has granted a waiver to all um, districts for the number of required instructional days that um, schools are typically required to have, and we will not be extending the school year. We are, however, committed to preparing our students to be ready for the next grade. And so our instruction will continue through the last day of this 2019-2020 school year, and that will be through May 22nd. In addition, beyond May 22nd, um, we will be having our TSD Learns website available, and that will contain supplemental resources for families and students to use the course of the summer. We are also evaluating our summer school options, knowing that this summer is going to be a little bit different than our, our previous summers. As we move into this new world of all instruction happening at home, we're calling that TSD at home and it's a learning plan. And with our instructional model, we have um, our staff are back together this week. They are learning strategies to teach in a virtual environment. It is very different to, to teach um, remotely than it is to have students in front of them. And so they are practicing um, and delivering, um, preparing content to put into um, online classrooms. Just like they at the beginning of the year, they need to set up their classroom for students. They also need to set up an online setting for their students to be able to access. Instruction will start on Monday, April 6th, and we will start with a review of previous content. We are viewing this much like um, a break uh, at mid-year and needing an opportunity to build relationships, start slow to build fast. New content will be delivered and started no later than the week of April 20th. For our families that do not have internet or internet access or a device we are also providing instructional packets and those will be available at our food distribution sites on mondays we received questions about uh, services for our students who are identified um, as needing an individualized education plan and so our ed special education and related services will be provided to our students or information provided to their caregivers as appropriate through a variety of platforms. We'll be using virtual and online where we can. There will be sometimes the, the services may be delivered through telephone, through workbook, packets and manipulatives or other website resources. Please be assured that these services will further the progress in the curriculum and IEP goals for our students. Assessments were another um, area that there were a lot of questions around. The Colorado Department of Education has canceled all Colorado measures of academic assess assessments for grades three through eight for this school year. They've also canceled the PSAT and SAT assessments for grades nine through 11. They are, however, working with the College Board to see if they can provide an opportunity for our students to be able to take those PSAT and SAT assessments. Um, we are waiting for the, their guidance, and once we receive that, we will share that with you. Our school readiness uh, assessments that are required for early childhood and for kindergarten have also been canceled. The Inter International Baccalaureate program has canceled its assessments for this spring. And for advanced placement exams, the College Board is going to be offering two different testing dates this spring. And those assessments will be delivered to students at their homes um, in a virtual manner. And so more information will go out to students and families um, that are involved in those assessments later this week or early next. And lastly, our district assessments have been paused and we'll be evaluating those as we move forward um, between now and the end of the school year. 
There are some things that are specific concerns for high school students, and we received a, a lot of uh, feedback and questions about these two particular items. Um, first, prom. Um, our, all of our in-person proms are going to be canceled. And we are working with our students and our staff to plan a virtual prom for May 9th. This will be an opportunity for students to have that culminating event um, from, from social distancing um, at home. And so more information will go out to high schoolers um, very, very soon around that. We also know that graduation is an extremely important um, milestone for our students. And so we are going to be surveying the senior class and their families to identify ways that we could can do um, a graduation ceremony. So we're looking at whether that might be a virtual ceremony or we a, a ceremony that would be held at a later date. And so we are looking forward to the input from our, our families and our students about what that might look like and what would best meet needs. Another high school concern um, that we've heard is around uh, graduation requirements um, in this new delivery model, assessments, and then even kind of what's that credit recovery look like and how do they earn credits. And so members of, of our leadership team and our high school principals are going to be meeting this week and early next week to provide some additional guidance for that. You will receive that information no later than Wednesday, April 8th. With closure of school, that means unfortunately that our high school sports and activities are also canceled. Refunds will be given for those athletic and activities fees that were for this spring session. We also know that there were a number of questions around um, cap and gown rental. And so we're going to hold off on a decision around that until we know for sure what kind of ceremony we might be doing. And so more information will come to seniors for that. And then another one around fees was related to yearbooks and so and how students access yearbooks. Uh, that's something that our schools are working, um, working with their distributors and their uh, yearbook companies, working with students on what can they produce between now and the end of the year, how might they get that delivered, and so more information will come from each school about yearbooks in particular. Another question that came up is in regard to grading and what does grading look like when we're in a new TSD at home learning um, model. And at this time we're evaluating how we're going to assess student work because we cannot assure that all students have access to the same learning opportunities at home given um, access to devices, access to um, internet and even you know what family says. Um, what families look like right now, um, given some of the hardships that are happening for families. So guidance will be provided to staff and students and families on how we're going to approach grading um, as we move into this instruction for the remainder of the year. Hello, I'm Matt Kuhn, Chief Technology Officer for Thompson School District. Accessibility to instruction, as Ms. Huckabee just mentioned, is difficult in Thompson School District because we're not a one-to-one -one district. In other words, we do not have one student device for every student in the district. Some of our schools do, but not district-wide. So we are loaning devices to families and students. Let's take a look at those student devices for some specifics. Students can access their online schoolwork through any internet browser. Chrome is the preferred browser, but any internet browser will do. If they don't have computer options at home, they can check out a device from the district. Go to the URL that you see on the screen for more information and in the online form that you need to fill out before coming to pick up a device. We are offering help desk support at 970-613-7777 to all families, students, and staff. You can ask anything of the help desk as long as it has to do with technical support. We received many questions that were very specific to technical support issues. So rather than addressing them now, I would ask that you call the help desk so that we can help you individually. Remember to fill out the form and bring an adult to pick up any device. We also know that internet options are a challenge for many of our families. There are four alternatives if you are having difficulty accessing the internet. Comcast is offering two months free internet to families who qualify. 
See our website for more details. Xfinity also has hotspots all around the area. To find those, you need to use a search service that we also have put on our website. You can park your car in certain parking lots that we have extended Wi-Fi into, including Loveland High School, Berthet High School, the TSD Admin Building, and Big Thompson Elementary School. You can also learn how to use your own cell phone as a hotspot. Many cell phone providers are providing free data plans so that the cell phone can be used as a hotspot. All of the other specific questions that you asked are answered at the URL you see at the bottom of the screen. Hi, this is Bill Sievers, Chief Human Resources Officer for this amazing district. I will be answering questions on open enrollment. I am part of the open enrollment team. Open enrollment requests are being processed on the original timeline. The Thompson School District will begin taking second round open enrollment applications beginning Friday, April 3rd at 8 a.m. You can use the link on the TSD website to submit your application. If your open enrollment application is accepted during the second round, the school you apply to will contact you personally. In the meantime, you should proceed with enrolling with your school of residency based on address. Communication has been sent to families with information on how to submit forms electronically. Thank you. Hello, Todd Piconi, Chief Operations Officer for the Thompson School District. Uh, there are three points that I'd like to address. Um, one is TST is performing roaming patrols of our schools. There has been an uptick, uptick in vandalism and large social gatherings. So we're doing this to really protect our community and our assets. Uh, secondly, because we are now closed for the school year, we're developing a plan to access district buildings for all students and staff. So we will identify a process for pickup and a timeline very soon. Also, the operations, operational staff is performing modified work tasks in our buildings. Our goal is to ensure that our employees are safe as they perform duties for the district. Thank you. So we hope we've uh, been responsive and we're able to answer some of the questions that have been asked by our community. And we recognize that you may very well have more questions and we commit to you that we want to and we will be responsive to answer your questions. Um, this Ask TST uh, format, we commit to bringing back again and giving you additional opportunities to ask questions. Uh, please know that you can also reach out to your building, uh, your school uh, building administration to ask questions that might be specific to your child <clears throat> or your child's uh, you know, educational experiences. As we know, these are unprecedented times. And as Thompson School District works to navigate uh, our new complex realities, um, we want to make sure, first and foremost, that our students and community and staff are, are safe and healthy. Um, but then we also want to make sure that we're providing um, a good and robust educational experience. And we thank you as our partners within our community for working with us. And again, we are working really hard uh, to meet the needs of, of, of everyone. And thank you for tuning into this broadcast. And again, our commitment is to um, come back uh, and, and be able to answer more questions for you moving forward. Thank you so much for joining us.